I want to tell you a story about two friends of mine. This is Penny, and this is her partner, Peter. And while it doesn't look like it right now, they are two penguins that are very much in love with each other, and they're going to go and start their own penguin colony. They're going to start their penguin colony along the West Antarctic Peninsula, which is the portion of Antarctica that points up towards South America. And they've picked this lovely little spot here to start their penguin colony. We see them off in approximately late November, um, and they are doing well. But we come back a few months later, and they're gone. So like this penguin in the background of this photo, we're a little confused. What happened to Penny and Peter? I study where animal, why animals are where we find them in the ocean environment. And in this case, penguins count because they swim to catch their food. But we're also going to take my skills and turn them on their head a little bit. We're going to, instead of asking why we find penguins in this specific spot, why couldn't Penny and Peter survive here? Looking at a map of the West Antarctic Peninsula, all of these green dots here illustrate different penguin colonies. And if we look at where Penny and Peter tried to make their penguin colony, they picked a spot where there are already other penguins. So that's a good sign. If there's already other penguins there, they should be able to survive, right? If we focus instead on just the Adelie penguin colonies, we see that there's a very large gap where Peter and Penny tried to make their penguin colony. This large stretch of the West Antarctic Peninsula coast is known as the Adelie Gap and has mystified penguin ecologists and oceanographers such as myself for about 30 years now. I took one look at this feature and said, what about their food? This little guy here is the Antarctic krill. They are small little shrimp-like creatures that form large bait balls and they are the Adelie penguin's favorite food. They're very hard to find in the ocean environment though. And so what I did was I used a computer simulation and I dropped almost 4 million fake krill into this computer simulation and did three things. First, we looked at where the krill went. Then we looked at how long it takes the krill to get to those spaces. And then we tracked how long it took them to get there. If we start off with where the krill went, they do make it to the Adeli Gap. They come up and around the corner from the West Santa Peninsula. And then after that, after they move through that area, they are infected and moved by the ocean currents to the north. But when we look at how long it takes the krill to get there and compare that to how long they tend to stay there, the krill are leaving this area four times faster than they are entering it. So what happened to Penny and Peter? What we believe happened is that they basically tried to start a colony in a food desert. They went to the grocery stores nearby and all the grocery store shelves were empty. There was not enough food there for them to sustain themselves. So what we believe happened is that they left before they starved to death. But if we take a step back and also think about this in a broader scope, what does this mean? We now have a better understanding of how this ecosystem works, another piece of the puzzle. And this becomes especially important as our climate is changing. This is a news headline from earlier this year stating that the ocean circulation, how the ocean moves around Antarctica, is going to change under future climate change conditions. This effect is not limited to just Antarctica. This is going to happen here as well. This is a similar news headline from earlier this year stating that the Gulf Stream, which is the fast moving current that moves along the coast of, Ant uh, the, coast of the East Coast, might collapse as soon as 2025. So with this new piece of the puzzle, how this ecosystem is structured, we are then going to be able to have a better, we have a better understanding of how this ecosystem works now so that we can better predict how this ecosystem is going to change in the future. And with this in mind, we can build effective management strategies to keep the penguins around for generations to come. And for that, Penny and Peter will be eternally grateful. Thank you. Thank you.